Hey guys, it's Johnny Tech Review. Today I have a quick review for you of this Rose Wheel Gaming 2.0 speaker system. The 60 watt speaker features 1.5 inch tweeters, yeah, 4 inch enhanced bass speaker. The model number is SP 7260. We will go ahead and unbox this and show you guys what comes inside. So top here we have a small little user menu, uh, just some instruction on how to uh, set it up. These are the massive speaker here. So we have the two speakers right here. So the first thing I noticed when I opened these up is one of them is actually a lot heavier than the other one. This is the heavier one here and this is the one with all the amplifier. So here as you can see, look pretty nice. This is the front of the unit. You have this nice little grill here and uh, this grill here uh, doesn't pop out also stay in now. The speaker is actually angled. So a little bit upward angle as you can see right now. And here's the main unit with the amplifier. In the back we have RCA input, we have the power button, and we have the power cable itself, and there's the speaker output down for the other speakers. We have some uh, control knob here. I'm assuming uh, for sound and also for treble and bass. We have here an auxiliary input and headphone output right now. So first impression, they feel pretty solid. They are made out of wood and up front here you have this plastic grill. And as you can see here, there's the Rosewood logo, a pretty cool slanted logo. This is not really typical of a Rosewood logo, it looks pretty nice. You have this uh, tweeter here and then this main speaker here and you can see here it's all lined with just a kind of like golden color. At the base here you also have a little bit more golden color here, look quite nice. The speaker is pretty big as you can see here, it's probably around 12 to 14 inches tall, 8 or 10 inches in depth and about uh, 5 or 6 inches in width right now. So this one is the lighter one and the main unit is a lot heavier. I do want to show you guys all the cable that I come with. So there's the power cable here. Here is a 35 to RCA adapter. Here is a 3.5mm cable. Here is the splitter cable and here we have the speaker cable to connect the two speakers together. So guys, I've been using the Rosewood monitor speakers for the past few weeks and uh, so far I've been really pleased with the unit. From the design point of view, it's definitely an interesting concept. You have the simple go accent from the cone and some of the bottom grill and then the rest of the unit is plot. It makes the speaker stand out and it look quite nice. If you want a speaker that stand out on your desk, these definitely are the one. They are definitely large compared to other computer speakers. These look like a lot more monitor sound speaker than they are just regular computer speakers. When you turn this unit on, it takes roughly about 3-4 to four seconds for it to warm up and during that time, the amplifier will come on and then the speaker is active. On the right side of your speaker, there is a blue LED that is the power indicator. Next to the LED, there is three knob. First, you have the volume knob up top along with the triple and the bass setting. Uh, as far as the sound quality of this speaker, uh, I definitely see this as a more monitor speaker. For the simple fact, if you leave everything up, including the treble or bass, it sounds very flat and it's basically exactly the sound that you want if you're trying to monitor something. You have the ability to crank up the treble a little bit and also crank up the bass. When I crank up the bass to the maximum, uh, you definitely get a little bit more bass, but it's not overly emphasis and it's not overly crowded. Compare this to my Logitech Z623 TSX certified speaker, those has a sub Woofer, when you turn that bass on, it's very strong compared to your speaker. So definitely, if you're looking for more bass, uh, your speaker might not be the one that you want. One thing I really like about your power speaker is that when you turn the music up a little bit, your room sounds very full and the music envelopes the whole room. And I think overall the experience is really great, especially when you're sitting right in front of it. Playing game with your speaker is quite nice because you're getting really nice low frequency response and you're getting a lot of accurate reproduction uh, without overly emphasizing anything. I really enjoy listening to various different kind of genre of music, but on your speaker here, class classical, jazz and acoustic music sound really good on this. On your side of the unit you also have the auxiliary input so you can block in the iPod or something else and also there's a headphone input so you can use that to block in your headphone. The headphone here is being amplified just a little bit. I'm using my Sennheiser HD598 on here and it sounds pretty nice. Overall as a package these Rosewood monitor speakers look very nice. I think it's simple design. I also like the way the speaker is slanted a little bit so that the sound is directly toward you. A lot of time you will hear people who have buy bookshelf speaker and they will buy these little wedge that will definitely help to reduce vibration and also kind of point your speaker upward a little bit toward you and uh, this speaker has that already built in. Rosewood also include a lot of different cable for input and I'm very pleased about that. So that's pretty much my quick review of these Rosewood monitor speakers. I hope it helped you in your purchase decision. If you have any questions let me know in the comment below and as always stay tuned for future review. Thank you.